players of the game, the wholesalers. All right, guys. So the wholesalers are, if, if you want to equip them to a, an animal, if you will, or an insect, they're probably the ants of the game. The ants, they're running around. They're making things happen. They, they're carrying the weight. Bro, ants can put, like, what, 10 times their body weight on their back, if not more. I don't know the exact stat than that, but I've seen it. And so they're, they're versatile. They're quick. They're, they're maneuverable. There's a lot of them, okay? And they're pretty much the people who the underlying runners of the game. They run the, they're, they're the underliers, okay? Would I call them investors? I would not. Um, wholesalers are equivalent to real estate agents. The only difference between the two is one is licensed and one is not. Okay? If you're not licensed, you're called a wholesaler. If you are licensed, you're called a real estate agent. Do the same thing, though. They acquire property to sell property. Now, the only difference is, is a wholesaler, I would say a wholesaler is a little bit more intricate than a, than a real estate agent. Yes, the real estate agent has a certificate. But a wholesaler needs to actually know investing. Because here's the thing. Here's the game for the wholesaler. The wholesaler has to understand what their buyer wants. And in order to, to understand what their buyer wants, they need to ha have an understanding of what investing is. It's like Walmart. They need to understand what the consumer wants. And they need to put their head into the consumer's body for that to happen for them to give them what they want. And so with real estate and with real estate agents, all they need to do is find the end buyer. And there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing, neither is better or worse. I'm just saying it what it is. And so with a wholesaler, okay, these are people who are, they're moving, okay? I, again, if you consider yourself a worker, worker be an ant, yeah, this is you, all right? You're going to be talking to a lot of different people at the same time. You're negotiating. You're underwriting deals. You are dispoing. You are putting yourself into a position to where you're, you can get multiple deals done at, at the same time. You are, um, you are signing contracts, finding buyers, all of this good stuff. Okay, and so the wholesaler's game is to the business model is to buy cheap, find a property, find a motivated seller, buy it cheaply, buy the property cheaply. And then sell it to a fix and flipper. Okay. After you sell it to a fix and flipper, they're going to end up fixing it up. And they're gonna, well, that doesn't really matter for this video. You're going to collect that spread between what you buy it and what you sold it for. That's a wholesaler's model. The pros of it. Is you, can get some, you can get some serious cash wholesaling. If you know what you're doing, you can get some serious cash wholesaling. And it's serious cash fast. Okay. Um, you know, my first deal, my first two deals equipped to like $10,000. OK, I, you know, it's just like that. All you got to know is the buyer, and the seller. And I know a lot, a lot of my peers are doing a lot, a lot better than that. So the downfalls for it is, you know, it creates a system. You got to have a system in place. Um, you don't have to, but it's going to if you want, if you're going to if you want to do this, you're going to need to. Yes, you want a system. Um, you want to you're going to want to hire out. Which is not bad. I think that's really good. If you want to grow this stuff, you can't do this by yourself. Is what I'm saying. You want you want to work with other people. Um, but the, one of the biggest negatives and downfalls of wholesaling is it's a it's a, it's a rabbit race. You're always you're always running. You're always moving. There's no stopping in this game. If you're just wholesaling to wholesale, yo, you're always you you're going to be moving for the rest of your career. Um, and it's at a high speed. Not a lot of people can do this. Not a lot of people want to do this. Because there's there's a lot of intricate parts that if one thing goes down goes wrong, that's the whole that's the whole deal. So um, you're like the middle person between two vital pieces, the solution and the problem. And you're you're creating you're solving the problem. There's a lot of intricate steps to solve the problem, and um, to solve that problem, you need to end up selling it to the solution, and the solution needs to go and underwrite and do their due diligence. You pretty much bring it the deal to the table. Um, but this is the whole overview of wholesalers. I think it's a great way to start in the business. However, I don't think it's the best way to start in the business. And um, I'll explain all that in a, in a later video. But wholesalers is a, is a call on the ant to the game. 